Hello, we're at the DMCB Partner Training in Austin, and I've got Alex with me. We've just had a great day, a uh, full day of training. So I'm just going to have a quick w few words with Alex. He presented on how to do uh, sales, obje especially objection handling. So Alex, introduce to everybody who you are, what you do, first of all. Sure, absolutely. My name is Alex Schlinski. I run and operate Prospecting On Demand. Uh, mentorship and marketing community for agency owners, coaches, and consultants. Uh, and mostly what I coach myself is business development and scaling and, of course, sales. So how, how did you find this day, first of all? Oh, great day. It was a lot of fun. I really wanted to uh, come out and speak at a digital marketer event. It was one of my goals. I uh, got the opportunity to speak at uh, Mark's uh, podcast, and then he asked me to come out. So it was a lot of fun. had a great time. Cool. I thoroughly enjoyed your presentation and we just like to go through a couple of tips for our view viewers sure. and audience. Absolutely. What's the the more the most asked question you get when people are trying to sell or can't sell yeah. their services or products? I think the most common question that we get in selling services or product is simply how to get people to be confident to pay you. Um, a lot of people get ghosted on sales calls, so they'll get like maybes or they'll get a let me talk to my partner about it. And the biggest thing that I try to tell anyone that I work with is just simply telling people to make the decision, not asking. A lot of people end sales calls with the idea of like, what, you know, what do you think? Do you want this? Do you think we should work together? How are you feeling? Do you want to work together? What's the next step? Instead of you need this, this is right for you. It's exactly why you got on this call. It's exactly why you're here today. So I can achieve this result for you and overcoming this obstacle, we should do this. People are afraid to kind of step overboard and become too aggressive. But what I found is when you're worried about Am I coming off confident or am I coming off arrogant? Really what you're doing is two things. One, you're seeding doubt for yourself because you're unsure. So your tonality will iter iterate basically like, is he confident? Is he arrogant? What's going on? Is he doubtful? And any doubt that you have is like poison to a prospect. They can smell it like blood in the water for a shark and they will not work with you. And then the second element is forgetting what perception really we have. Like we don't control someone else's perception. It's why politics are so like huge and, and, and like people have such different opinions of the same speech, right? You have one person say a speech and there's an entire group of people that are like, that's incredible, amazing. And then there's an entire another group of people that are like, that person's the worst ever. How could you listen to them? The speech was no different. It was the exact same person, same speech. Everything was exactly the same, but the perception is different for each person. So when you think you control perception, you lose sight of what you're really capable of. So my biggest recommendation for everyone that I work with, any tip on sales, be confident and authentic with conviction, telling people to make the investment, not asking them. It's really important. And also, I'm not sure that you get the same thing, but what I also find is a lot of people are too scared and shy to ask for the sale. A hundred percent. If you're shy in sales, you're in the wrong business. What else is there to say? I mean, if you're worried about getting to the point of sale and asking for a sale and thinking that a prospect is going to buy from you, you're misunderstanding how sales is. Sales is a service where they have a problem, you have a solution, and there's a gap between their problem and solution. You're the one that's bridging that gap. If you do not feel confident to tell someone that I can bridge the gap for you, you can't sell. And here's the thing that's really important. If you find yourself watching this video and you think, oh, that's definitely me, there's two things you have to come to a realization on. One, do you need to hire a salesperson yesterday, or two, are you willing to simply step up, recognize your greatness, understand the value that your offer brings, and start telling people to do it rather than being scared. I said something at the speech here, but sales happen in the uncomfortable. If you are uncomfortable asking, then you should step into that. The more uncomfortable you are, the more comfortable you become. Yeah. So lastly, what would be your top or your best tip for somebody who wants to increase their sales or their conversion rates? Sure. So outside of the telling tip, because that's definitely number one, I always say in my speech, the framework of the second thing you say on your calls, which is understanding how time is the most valuable asset we have. Anyone watching this video will agree that time is the only re non-renewable resource that we can't buy. Everyone wants more time. Everyone. Now, people buy time through products that save them time, but more importantly is understanding on your prospecting calls, on your sales conversations, the time that your prospect is giving you for zero dollars is actually more valuable than their credit card. And you have to convince them that way because a lot of people get on calls, especially a prospect, and they're thinking, my credit card's the most valuable asset that Uzair wants, that Alex wants. It's not the case. 
It's not. It's the time that you're already giving them. So when you frame the call by asking why are you on this call, but with the appropriate frame, something like this, like, hey, Farzana, I appreciate you jumping on this call with me. I really want to utilize this time appropriately. Time you're spending with me is time you're not spending with your clients or your friends or your family or catching up on Game of Thrones. You're here with me today. I want to make sure I deliver for you. Why are you on this call so I can deliver for your time that you're giving to me? Now in their mind, they're thinking, oh, wow, like I was kind of willy nilly with my time, which most people are. That's how human beings are. Now they have to consider, well, because I'm here, because I have this problem and I want you to solve it. If you can do that well, those are really solid tips. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your tips and types. And last one, where can anyone find you? Yeah, prospectingondemand.com, probably the easiest place to find me. That's my website. Uh, or find me on facebook.com slash Schlinsky, S-C-H-L-I-N-S-K-Y. I got the little blue check mark. I'm special. Ooh. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Pleasure. Bye. Bye. Thank you.